So now we're going to start looking at web fonts. The first thing we need to do is find a web font that we want to use. I'm recommending you use Google fonts because they are easy to use and they are reliable. You can also use Typekit fonts. The instructions are largely the same. There's just a few extra things you need to do. So if you do want to use Typekit, make sure you uh, go to the discussion forum so you can talk to your teaching staff about that. So we've gone to Google fonts here. So that is fonts.google.com. And that has 923 different font families to choose from and they curate them. So they're, they're pretty good fonts to choose from. Now I'm going to choose a serif font so we can easily see if it is applied correctly. Our default font is Arial in Axia RP9 and hopefully you have not changed that um, so that you can follow along with this. So back to Google Fonts. I can choose my categories here and decide I only want to see serif fonts and that narrows our choices down. So I might just choose Merriweather because that's here. Um, so I can click on select this font and now we can see here with our little um, a little sticky thing down the bottom, sticky footer, uh, we've got that one selected and it's family Merriweather. Okay, fantastic. Now you can choose different weights of it as well. Um, you can see here that when I hover over this, it's got sentence regular 400. Um, you can actually specify exactly what weights you want. I'm just going to stick with regular for now. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, install that on our computer if you are able to do that. So I open up by clicking um, my selection area and you see at the top right we have a symbol, a download symbol and if I hover over that I can use sky fonts or I can download. So I'm just going to click on download and that should download that for me. I'll just open that folder up here and I should be able to select all of these and what do I do now sorry I'm a PC user not a Mac user so I've double clicked and I'm just going to go install font for all of those okay and that allegedly has all of our Merriweather fonts installed now fantastic okay so the next step we need to do is apply that within our um, Axia file and that will be the next video